Jonathan Bond on the goal line. He will strike it with his right foot. Our referee, Silvio Petrescu, clearing the penalty area. 0-0 right now. Here's Lewis. On to his right foot. Fires away. He scores. He went up high, and Colorado takes the early lead. 1-0 on the penalty kick inside 13 minutes of play. I mean, this is hit with power. I mean, it's right up the middle. Amalainen plays this one out to Vasquez. He'll bend into the area again, a little heavy. Jovalich will try to knock it back through. Williams will come out to Ravellison. Fire scores! Ryan Ravellison! 1-1! This is absolutely fantastic. It's a ball that just gets put all the way to the far side. Give a lot of credit to a few players. Remember, five goals off corner kicks for Colorado this season. Here's Price. Steps into this and plays his short. Flicked on towards the back post. Out comes Bond. The head of the goal. They score. No. Or it is. Yes, it is a goal. 2-1, Colorado here, 73rd minute. Off of corner kicks, off of set pieces, how dangerous they can be. It's that ball to the near post, and then Shinyashiki. To take care of Renoso. Remini and Nathan with a good connection. Now the earthquake's advancing. This is Espinosa. Now he'll go with his right foot, trying to slide it in front. It took a deflection, and it's a goal. San Jose! the Minnesota United defender and in and the Quakes lead it one nothing. DJ Taylor and fires a ball into that penalty area and it's a good ball because he's hit hard and low. He could deflect off a defender. Quakes scrambling a bit now to try and get back into position. Reynoso oh. off to a ball. There's the cross. There's the shot. And we are even. Minnesota goal. Will Trapp has tied it up. To help out defensively. Robinson for Brooks Lennon. Long pass this time. Ezekiel Barco. Lovely run from Barco. On the left foot. Clips. Go! We talked about putting pressure, playing vertical at times, that this Toronto team had conceded goals early in games in the first 20 minutes. And what? Ezekiel Barco, he went into that last minute. You will receive a car magnet from the Res Charitable Foundation and Dan O'Brien Automotive Group. Here comes Flora. Oh, no. Look at that. Ariola. Great break by DC United. And they're up one nothing. Those are the two guys you felt like could tear you apart. And they did just that. Before he released that shot, he said, let me take a touch and then toe poke to the far post. It's never going to be the same exact thing as training, but training prepares you for moments and instances in the game. Like, I've been there. I know exactly where this player is going to be. Boateng stands up across. Oh, or just over the head of Buchanan. Second phase now. Laid off. McNamara deflected it in. The Rams have leveled. It's a brand new New England revolution to start the second half. Tommy McNamara, the second wave of attack, and the Reds are on level terms. Martins, stripped by Bo, heady play by the Argentinian, cuts the ball back, great dribbling skill, and a nice pass into space, flowing, the Reds, Boateng, stands it up, Buchanan, wow, 2-1, the Reds, ramp it, all of a sudden it's a completely different Paint job on this game, Charlie. Down the left flank, flying. He takes a touch, surveys the options, picks out Tejan Buchanan, float it perfectly. Dewan's on it. Well, that was just a tired clearance from Adoya Chen. Now Buchanan, oh! Shout for handball, not given. Boateng crashes through now. Jones rolling hard and in. 3 1. Look at that. Dewan. 
It's a team effort, Charlie, and this is a team that believes in each other right now. And not that Carlos, if he's in the lineup, is, is not going to make the most difference. No, the Reds have to play differently without him. Yes. Here comes DC. Blast to make it 3 2. So after really not looking like he was engaged, Ramon Abila strokes it home. Full time to go. And now maybe nervous moments for New England. And he comes in off the long ball. Kamara battles. Miami dealt with it well. It's Morgan now with some space and time on the ball. Oh, what a ball. It's Gonzalo Iguain. Great ball! Now. Robbie Robinson with all kinds of time and space. Robinson spilled and put back by Vaseline on his first start. His second goal for Miami. Well, this goal is as easy as eating a Twix for Indiana Vaseline. Excellent build-up play from the likes of Morgan and Iguain and Robbie Robinson. Yep, it was Indy Vasilev who scores for the second consecutive Miami home game. Luka delivers near post, and Marsman couldn't keep it out. It almost instant responds from the fire. It's all level. Oh, this is all down to the corner kick taker as well. It's a beautifully struck. And this is the finish. It's a beautiful ball I rode back in. That is as cool as a polar bear's backside of a finish. Lovely play on the turn from even off and then the slot home is just out uh, he executes with extreme prejudice and accuracy and this is from nick marsman's vantage point and it's just clinical finishing but it was a poor giveaway by blaze matweet polar bears backside of a finish lovely play on the turn from even off give the three subs 30 minutes i'm over the top by lgp for Pipita Higuain looking for Robinson. Robinson collects. Robinson finishes! And Miami are back level! Well, it's fabulous play and it's a wonderful goal by Robbie Robinson. But what does the coach do now? Because I'll guarantee you. Again, it's Higuain. Nicely. Arming up a space for himself. Carranza with his back to goal turns. Achizaro! Ah, you get it, man! It's stop, it's time! Ah! just made the double switch. The visitors appear to be ready to do the same. Wagner, this time off the right foot. Headed down, goal, Madaya! one nothing Union! Can he get inside that far post? A beautiful ball from Wagner. And Bedoya, he's not hanging around. He gets on the wrong side of Armisen. Here's Davis. Play it across. Goodman. Top of the box. Laid off beautifully. Here's Tolkien able to cut it back. John Tolkien, go! Oh, what a superb finish. John Tolkien for the 1 0 lead. Way to go, kid. Red Bulls have the lead. You know, Will Bruin's been a soldier in Major League Soccer for a long time, but, you know, it's a big upgrade there to have Rui Diaz over Bruin. And this is just the fourth game of the year for Ladero, who immediately finds Rui Diaz, whose shot is blocked, and then his follow-up after Tafar had blocked, and he scores! Immediately into the game, and the 14th goal of the season has been scored by Rui Diaz to give Seattle the lead. And he certainly knows what to do with it. Ends up catching a little bit of the woodwork on the goal. 
Steered it off. Well, Peter Vermees is calling for a bit more pressure offensively, calling for the back line to step up, calling for Johnny Russell to make runs and on and off the ball movements on that right-hand side. So look for Sporting here in these next few minutes to try and really get things going in the attack. Here's a ball in that's directed toward Felipe Mora, and he nods it home. Just as we hit the 17-minute mark, the Portland Timbers have struck first. Be patient, but they do have some players who can hurt you. Felipe Mora has won. Great service here. Good header for Mora, too. We go outside to Daniel Shallowy. Shallowy into the penalty area. He has a go, and he beats the keeper. The magnificent season of Daniel Shallowy. The Hungarian assassin continues. Seemingly from nothing, he's brought Sporting Kansas City level in stoppage time. Rough off Daniel Shallowy, picks this ball up. Portland just keeps dropping off of him. And given away, and now the break on. Support. Got a man outside of him, Hanny Mukhtar, he can get it back for CJ Sapong, great turn, great finish, great goal! Look at the brilliance, confident turn, just knows where the goal is, never looks up to reassess himself where he is on the field, just has that striker's mentality. Three away wins for Oscar Perea's side so far this season. Three losses as well and three ties. Symmetry in their run away from Exploria Stadium. They seek an equaliser here. And they've got it. Antonio Carlos. Great delivery. A well-placed header. And Orlando a level. 1-1. And Perea just put it right in his path. It's such a good ball. Here you see with the corner towards Ring! Alex Ring! Captain fantastic for Austin. Another big, big header. And it's also a welcome to Austin for Sebastian Driussi. Assist number one for him. Alex Ring has been everywhere in this half. It's a snap header. We saw this type of snap header. Maybe a little shaken and stirred at the moment, Bond, because he's lost his place, isn't he? Jonathan Klinsman. He's had a license to spill as of late. <laughs> Here's the corner kick. Stuver decided to stay. And the rebound is prodded home. And Austin's lead has evaporated. It's Jake Nowitzki, of all people, to prod that home. But now it's about, can they stop the counter? And there is a counter on the cards here. It's Caicedo with all sorts of room to roam. And goal to slid it across the face of goal! And the Vancouver Whitecaps have hit on the break with devastating efficiency. And Austin have seen their lead evaporate here. And goals run in behind Romagna is a difference. Gold has really added quality. He starts almost every game all year, and yet he missed both RSL games. First time we've seen him this year. Oh, and here's Bobby Wood. Bobby Wood. Lays it off. Miram! Yes, Justin Miram at RSL takes the lead. You got a problem, and the problem is soft turnovers. Right now, defensively, wide open. Great, great presence on that near post header in those clearances. Darren Sarno, take the corner. Headed down and in, and the Dynamo are back in this one. And I'm pretty sure I just commentator cursed it right there. Know the responsibility for zones and attacking the ball, but no one will ever convince me that that's not an advantage for the attacking team to be able to ghost in. At Ruiz 
Toya. Toya. Rubio Rabin. Anderson Julio! Anderson Julio! 88th minute to go ahead goal! Opportunity in the 80th minute. And watch the combination. Give credit to Rubio Rabin. Watch this touch. Quick touch.